Hi, I'm Jason, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you uh, a few quick and easy ways in order to convert your CDs, your physical music CDs, into MP3s. Now, I'm doing this because I recently went up in the attic to clear it out, and I came down with a box full of CDs, and I feel a bit reluctant to throw them out. But at the same time, because technology has moved on in such a way that we now listen to music on our Android pads, our iPads, iPods, etc., etc., mobile phones, we need to convert these music CDs into an appropriate format that our devices can play. So what I'm going to show you is some free tools in how to do this. And the first tool I'm going to use is iTunes. Now, you don't necessarily need to have an iPod, an iPad, an iPad mini, etc., etc., to download iTunes. It's free to download by just going to apple.com. So as you can see on my desktop, I've got iTunes open, and I'm going to put my, my original CD in. So we'll close the drawer, and eventually Apple will pick up the music that we have in our CD drive. It accesses what's called Grace Note Media Databases, and now here we can see the full listing of each track that I have on the Immaculate Collection by Madonna CD. So, what we need to do first of all is just simply go to Import CD. Now, what you need to do in the Import Using drop-down here is select MP3 Encoder, and I'm going to leave my setting here as higher quality, and I'm just going to say OK. Now what that will start to do, if you can notice up here in the top left on track 1 Holiday, it now starts to convert that particular track into an MP3 and put it in the designated folder. Ah, but I missed that. What is the designated folder I hear you ask? Well that is the one by just clicking Start, going to Music, and into your iTunes folder which automatically gets generated for you when you install iTunes and we go into iTunes Media and Music and in here will be a folder that iTunes will place all of those tracks into and it's already created the folder called Madonna and if I go in there we have another folder which is the name of the album and inside there we can see so far it's generated four tracks and made them into mp3 format files. So I'm going to fast forward a bit and let this continue doing its job until we've got all 17 tracks. So there we have it, all 17 tracks are now done. I can close this down and we can see here that I have the Immaculate Collection and all 17 tracks are in there. So that's one way of doing it. Um, some of you may not have or don't wish to have iTunes installed on your PC, but if you do have Windows, then you're probably used to seeing this particular thing here, which is Windows Media Player. So let's open Windows Media Player. And what I'm going to do, up at the top bar here, I'm going to right click. And first of all, I'm going to select Help, and I'm going to select About Windows Media Player. So this is Windows Media Player version 12, but I'm pretty sure it works for 11 and 10 the same way. So I'm going to right click again up here, I'm going to select Tools, and then I'm going to select Options. Now in here we have many tabs, and the tab that we're interested in is RIP Music. So I'm going to select this tab, and then I'm going to select from the Format RIP settings here, I'm going to drop that down and select MP3. I'm going to rip CD automatically and I'm going to say eject CD after ripping. So let's open our CD drawer and we'll place in another original CD and I'm going to click apply, OK and hopefully in a second we should see a listing of the new CD that we've placed in there and there it is. Now, don't worry if your iTunes opens up at the same time because iTunes is generally configured to do that. So just simply close iTunes again. But what you'll notice, because of the settings that we've made in Windows Media Player, the minute the drawer closed, it went off, it looked at the CD, it found the information, knows it to be Madonna True Blue 1986 album with nine tracks, and it just continues to start ripping each track. And the place that it puts that particular album is under Start, under Music, 
and you should see a folder in there that's been generated called Madonna and inside here is the album name True Blue and there we can see that our tracks are starting to be generated into mp3 files so that's two ways in which um, you can use free tools and those tools may already be installed on your PC if you wanted to use a third party tool another one that I could recommend is called free rip so let's while that's carrying on ripping let's go to our Google search engine and I'm going to type in free rip and here under freerip.com we can select free download and we'll save the file and I'm using Mozilla Firefox so as we can see the little green arrow up here displays the progress of our download and it's quite quick very small file already there so I'm going to install it let's just close this Internet Explorer window down at the moment and we finished ripping our other Windows Media ripping tool so let's close that and we'll carry on with the installation of free rip so let's click next and install and we'll click finish it will then open up a web page telling you all about free rip and asking you to tell your friends etc etc and to pay money for the pro version which we're not going to do on this occasion we don't need to so let's close this okay so I need to place another original CD into my CD drawer and this time it's going to be Nat King Cole so the drawer is closed and then I hopefully should be able to just click on refresh CD and again obviously our iTunes has opened up which is a little bit annoying let's just close that but we can see in the free rip program that it's found my CD Nat King Cole it's found all the tracks here and it's already pre ticked them all I've got 25 tracks on there so there's no need for me to select all it's already done for me and if I open this out a little bit more we can see all the other settings across the top there so we can see up here we have an output folder um, I could change that if I wanted at the moment it's pointing to my desktop and I don't actually know whether it's going to rip each track and put 20 how many was it 25 tracks uh, spread across my desktop I, I really don't that I really don't want that to happen so if I come down here I'm going to right click I'm going to say new folder that King Cole so let's make a folder there and let's browse to it there it is and so that now points to my Nat King Cole folder and I'm just simply going to click this button here that says rip disk and hopefully it will start to rip all 25 of those tracks and we can see up here on the right the progress of uh, the ripping procedure or I like to call it a conversion so let's speed time up So as we can see it has now copied my Nat King Cole CD and it did actually let's just dismiss this it did actually make a folder called Nat King Cole so I needn't have did what I did I could have just pointed it to my desktop or wherever I decided to point it and it will make the folder with all of the tracks separately inside it so there you go so I'm gonna cut this I'm gonna go to my music and let's just paste it in there so I've got all my music together so all I need to do now is carry on and converting all of my physical music CDs and then I can box them back up and put them back in the attic so I hope you found this tutorial useful thanks for watching